Ladies and gentlemen, Francis Waddington here for Video Game World, bringing you a review today of Telltale's uh, Game of Thrones series. This is the very first episode um, of a six-episode trilogy for, from everything they've said. Uh, now, Telltale's basically um, known for uh, Wolf Among Us, The Walking Dead, are two of their really big series. Um, and whatnot. Uh, but if you ask me, Game of Thrones is a very tall order for them. Uh, this is a series which could uh, really make or break Telltale, I feel, in a sense. Um, to a certain degree, as I said, uh, Game of Thrones is a tall order. Uh, y I feel you have to do this with a certain degree of decorum. Um, you have to stay faithful, you have to stay true, you really have to, you know, not vary or differentiate what Game of Thrones is. Um, on a certain scale, Telltale does that just fine. Um, in other parts, um, the first episode, I, I, I would say, is a good strong start. But I think, depending on your outcome, and I, I won't spoil what my outcome was, but I got a pretty bad outcome. Um, I don't know how that's going to do for me in the long run um, of my series yet. But the one good thing about the game is that you can do this multiple times. They give you four save files, so you can have four different scenarios if you want. Or you can just re-keep doing it until you until your heart's desire, until you get the outcome you want. Um, I would say the first episode can take anywhere from four to five hours, um, if you take your time. If you want to slam through it real quick, I'd say no less than three. Um, but it really, you know, depends on, uh, on what you want to do. Now, um, for those of you who played the Telltale game, Telltale's game, and you're familiar with them, and you're familiar with their choice system. For those of you who haven't, let me give you a little background on it. Uh, what they do is they will tell a story. Within the story, at certain intervals, um, you will see that you have a choice. Okay? You'll see a bar count down. Um, in this case, it goes across the bottom of the screen right next to the words. Um and whatnot. Now, with that being said, uh, you have to be, you have to think quick on your feet. You have to make your choice and, you know, worry about the consequences later. I think that is a really interesting system and dynamic way to do it. Um, it's just, if you're a perfectionist about games like some people are, they're going to want to, you know, go through scenarios over and over. Uh, I would have liked it if, if they would slow that down and, you know, with their series and, you know, make one a certain way, make another kind of different. Um, I, I, I feel that would be a huge, huge benefit. But this is just my take on it. Um, for those of you who are not a fan of QTEs, um, quick time events. This may or may not be your game. Uh, there are a lot of qu there are a lot of quick time events in this um, in this particular episode. I felt it was very QTE heavy in some parts of it. Um, and so, if you're not a fan of those, that may throw you off a bit. It, it, it may uh, you know make you say, "Okay, what do I really want to do here?" Um, and whatnot. I think another thing that um, I've ki I kind of liked about about this is that they did not chance to a certain degree on how the show is. If you've ever watched the show, the show is the show can be pretty violent, um, but it's war. Um, they they nail that. They nail the language. They nail um everything about it. Now this first episode had no nudity whatsoever. 
Um, but future episodes may have it, it may not. I don't think they'll really go the nudity front, but I think everybody can understand that and know why they're not going to do that. Um, I'm really hoping to see, you know, what future episodes bring. Uh, I, I really want to see, you know, what they do with this series, um, how, how it's going to be considered. Um, I'm a little flabbergasted as to why they chose the third season in this particular part. Um, at the current time of this particular game, the events of the Red Wedding are happening. Um, and for anybody who's watched the show or read the books, that's that, that's an odd place to start. You're starting three three seasons in, um, at least according to the show and whatnot. Uh, so I, I found that a little bit odd. Um, I think the other thing that uh, I feel that um, maybe some of the later episodes are, are really going to need to do is um, give us a little bit more time, you know, with, with, cer with certain characters. Um, I don't know if six episodes is going to really be enough for this series. It may, it may not. We will have to see. But um, overall, I really enjoyed this episode. Um, to quickly touch, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It looks pretty sharp. It looks good. It runs well. Um, the controls, you know, are not really all that hard. You just got to... Uh, the, the QTEs for it um, really don't make you do anything, you know, too terribly out of the ordinary. But I think that overall, it's a decent start. We'll have to see how it plays out. Um, I will be covering all six episodes. I will have reviews for all six episodes for Video Game World. Um... If you did like this video and you and, and, and you thought it was kind of helpful, give us a like. Um, if you're not subscribed to our YouTube page, we, we would definitely appreciate and welcome you aboard. Um, we look forward to bringing you more more reviews, more gameplay videos, lot, lots more of everything. Um, so, with that, I will bid you farewell on what you watched this last bit of gameplay. And... already what's wrong with him something the matter Bowen we have to go you go if you're in such a rush <sighs> but what about what the hell was that about slow down would you what's the rush there's no need to fucking run run Ready, boy!